Hey everyone, guess guess what it is? Oh, I, I don't know, maybe it's uh, CA Neat News. It's Campus News, y'all. <laughs> I'm Chaz. And I'm Lauren. <laughs> and guess what? This week is, you know, Patty's Day, so... Ow! <laughs> Fits grow an inch. That hurts! You know what else hurts. He's giving blood, but you, you, you gotta do it. The, the, the blood mobile will be behind the calf this week from 7 morning time to 5 night time and they're going to be collecting blood. So you just come up, you kill blood, you, you, you enter, enter the thing, you can win a, a cooler, a t-shirt, uh, all kinds of sweet things. Uh, just, just bring some blood, man. Bring your blood, your dog's blood, neighbor's blood. You just, just bring some blood. Get your Dracula on, man. And uh, speaking of donations, graduation is coming up soon, so it's a chance for you to donate. Uh, you can buy a brick to go on the walkway, um, you can buy a commemorative calf plate, or uh, if you know, you've got a million dollars laying around, you can donate it and have a building with your name on it because everybody knows college kids have a million dollars just lying around. Speaking of million dollars lying around, Cindy, are, are you are you lying down in the job or are you you doing your job? What 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 are you doing out there? Hey guys, this is Cindy, and it is springtime in the world. I'm so excited. Spring is my favorite time of the year. There's love everywhere and flowers, mostly love. So we're gonna go out and talk to the people on campus about well, who the love bugs bit in. Let's go. Hey, so I'm Cindy, and I'm interviewing people about love this spring. So tell me, who's the love bug bitten? Sure isn't about Adrian. Oh, Adrian, is he your man? No, he's oh. not my man. He was never a man. He's a child. Oh, I am, I'm so sorry. Oh, and I've been sneaking, looking at his phone, and he's been texting this girl, Alyssa. Do you know who Alyssa is? No. Do y'all know who Alyssa is? Um, you know what? I think we're just no, gonna... No, 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 no. Guess what, Adrian? If you're watching this, you're not getting your stuff back. You want to know why? Take a whiff. Do you smell something burning? I don't know. I'm burning his clothes in the back right now! Oh, are back? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you like those apples? Adrian! <laughs> I hope I don't look insane. No, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Love and spring, guys. Thank you, Ramona. You're welcome. Hi, so I'm interviewing people about love because it's spring and it's so exciting. And I'm here with Professor Dwayne. So, Professor Dwayne, are you, uh, you know, have a special someone this year? Love repulses me. It makes me sick to my stomach. Oh. Well, um, I mean... <laughs> But love is so much fun and so beautiful and so sweet and like, you know, Disney style sparkles and hearts and unicorns and... Well, now that you mention it, there's only one scenario where I would fall in love. And it's if I was sleeping for a long time and guarded by seven dwarves and a young handsome man came and gave me a smooch on the lips. Oh. Okay. Um... Or if a proud lioness came and found me and bit me by the scruff of my neck, then I'd fall in love instantly. Okay. Oh. I'm not... Professor Doctor. Professor Doctor. Professor Doctor. Professor Doctor Dwayne. Um, what, may, may I ask? Uh, uh, maybe this is, maybe you should edit this part out, but where's your neck? I don't have one. I lost it in a freak accident involving love. Oh. And here's Eustace with whatever he does. I'm Eustace with Campus News, and today we'll be talking about golf and its orig origins. Okay, so first, we're going to talk about the objects of golf. This is the golf club. Believe it or not, it's a sandwich. Or it was a sandwich, sorry, excuse me. But that'll be important later. This is the golf ball, and this is the golf pointer. Okay. So golf originated in Australia, believe it or not, and it originated because prisoners would dig around underneath 
to build wells and things like that or escape routes. Well, soon wombats started finding these holes and would block it up with their bony plate of buttocks. And so they would lay golf club sandwiches at the end of tunnels and the wombats would be drawn out. But soon that became too expensive and who wants to keep wasting sandwiches? So they just made titanium ones and started beating wombats with them. Eventually, they got a bunch of wombats together and made a ball out of their fur. And then they got the pointer. And then Gulf was born in Australia in the 1850s and traveled across the United States from zebras to elephants and various other creatures that were used to be beaten with golf clubs and then to people. Thank you for tuning in with Eustace. Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Levine. You know, in today's day and age, the kids and the college students do a whole lot of texting and social media and on the internet. Use a lot of abbreviations like LOL or OMG. Well, <clears throat> here at our church, I've decided to revamp those abbreviations and turn them into something a little more uh, Christ-honoring, a little more God-friendly. So. Let me teach you Pastor Levine's list of more Christianly abbreviations. LOL, that could mean one of two things. Lord of Lords, that being Jesus, or one of my favorites is Love Our Lord. OMG means the same thing as it does to you kiddos. Oh my God. WTF, not a bad word in this one, folks. It means work in the faith. Just work in the faith, just WTF. We also have one for BRB at our church, kind of personal to our church, though. BRB stands for Bring Rick's Bible. That crazy rascal's always forgetting his word. Also have LMAO. Doesn't mean you're laughing your hiney off. It means loving my Alpha and Omega. That's God. We've got BTW, which doesn't mean by the way here. It means bring the word or believe the word you shout at your pastor when he's preaching a good thing you say btw bring the word pastor levine this is for all you young boys and girls out there who do some struggling you just uh pray to god fml forgive my lust this has been uh godly text abbreviations with pastor levine and don't forget to lol love our lord Hey everyone, welcome back. This is that time of show where we sit down with someone. I wonder who that someone could be. Hello everyone, it's your friend O'Malley. It, it's a leper, Sean. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, I have some cereal, but you can't have it. <laughs> is it because it contains razor blades? Um, no, my cereal is magically delicious. You're just ripping off Lucky Charms. Look, I work three different jobs. I didn't have time to research the part, okay? Three is a magic number. Maybe this could be a great time to talk about the importance of a college education. I do have a college education. In fact, I went to school here. Darn my history degree! Ah! Well, this is awkward. <laughs> this, this guy over right here, I, I don't, I, I guess it's that time. If we're gonna wrap it back up, uh, come back next week. We're gonna have some news. News. Um, Kmart's closed now. Going bankrupt. I I don't have a job anymore. Might lose my apartment. Might buy a bus. I don't know yet. There's there's pros and cons. Trash cans. All kinds of stuff out there. You buy. You live in there. You watch Nova Raccoon. He lives in all kinds of stuff. Uh, buses. Like I said. Uh, carved out pineapples. You you just gotta find a home. You gotta do you. You gotta do you. Gotta do you if you in the mood. That's that's what it's all about. All your heart.